So guys, I am back with another Star Wars Jedi Survivor video. Today guys, I bring you what in my opinion are the best 3 XP farms all players can use. Whether you're experienced or a brand new player, you can take advantage of these. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we're going to start with the one all players can use. Newcomers, brand new players to the game. I suggest you using this until you get five skill points and you'll know what I mean in a quick second. No, actually, sorry, six skill points and you'll know what I mean in a quick second. Okay, so from this point on the map, guys, and this is basically early game. This is literally, guys, the second, the second meditation point into the second area you'll come to as a brand new player. It'll probably take you about 25, 30 minutes to get to this point right here from a fresh game. So once you come to this uh, meditation point, you can see derelict dam. This is what you need to do. So from here, that's the way you'd normally progress. Forget that, you want to go that way. But again, as a new player, another new trick. Because we're going to be killing an enemy here. You can put this on story mode difficulty. That means that the enemies, even if they hit you, they do minimal damage. And it literally slows so you can take them out so easy. So come around this corner, guys, just like so. Again, this is for new players only. Uh, newcomers only if you're an experienced player been playing for a while now forget about this so this guy here guys just simply kill him he's so easy to kill it's ridiculous there you go now like i said you can you kind of push him off as well if you want to but it's just as easy killing him that chunk of xp nice go back to the meditation point then guys simply invest Again, I'm talking to new players only. If you're an experienced player here, you know exactly what I'm going to do. Just come to this point. When you rest, you respawn all adds. Just like so. And you want to do this, guys, until you have six. Count them. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. A little skill points to spend. Again, you can see he's respawned. Take him out again. And there you go. Okay, so... Once you progress the game, guys, you're going to end up at the Vendor Hub. That's what I call it anyway. We're going to go there. So just progress the game, guys, until you get to this point right here. We're going to fast travel there now. So we'll come down to Paloon Saloon. So we're going to travel here. Now, when you first come here, this won't be available. But as you progress, I think it's two missions on, you go to a forest. Well, actually, before this, you save a robot called Z. Z becomes the vendor we want here, but she doesn't become a vendor until you progress to that forest mission while the Mantis ship is being fixed. Upon you completing this, guys, Z will then become a vendor. And I'm going to show you exactly where you got to go here to actually find Z as a vendor. So the saloon, you'll initially come to it from the front, which we're going to go in. Another thing as well, people, another thing as well, people, as you're traversing this area, this big old map, you'll find things called data disks. These are important. Get five, keep five, do not spend them. I repeat, do not spend them because you need them to buy what we're going to buy, the perk of Z. So you can see where I'm at right here, guys. You won't be long before you get here. If you're a new player watching this, trust me, you'll get here in no time whatsoever. So this is where you want to come to. Again, once you've unlocked this, this area, progress on, do a couple more missions, get that Manti ship flying and ready. That's when Z, who you'll know by then, will become a vendor. Let's come in here, come up this way. Just like so. Come around here. And you want to click on the shop. Then guys, you want to purchase this one right here, Wisdom. Gain more experience from defeating enemies. This will cost you five of those data discs. I mean, it ain't a massive bump in XP, but if you got those data discs, you may as well take advantage of this. This is what you want. Simple as that. Okay, so now the reason I didn't mention this already is because if you're a new player watching this, there's no way you're going to get to that. So you may as well just farm that other point first, and then we are good. I didn't actually mean to come up here. It's the first time I've actually come up here. Let's go back down. Okay, so. You are good to go. We're going to go back down to my um, 
meditation point we're going to fast travel to the second xp farm which is amazing oh that map was not there then okay so let's go remember guys six skill points you want to keep you want to keep those six skill points and i'll explain in a second why because the third and final xp farm in this game is utterly scandalous you're going to be earning easy and i say easy one skill point every minute so you want to come to the riverbed watch this is in ramblers ramblers reach sorry so fast travel here now when you first actually come here this is a, a weird um, meditation point to get to but i'll explain in a second when it loads in because we are on xbox and things are slow here as you probably well know series x by the way but it don't make no difference this game could be worse could be pc okay so this is the meditation point like you see i got the uh, the rope to get down but you can't actually activate this from the floor you will start on the floor this is what you want this is the beauty you want now by the time you get to this point guys you should be able to mount these so this is where you'll find yourself and all you got to do is jump up simple as that activate the meditation point and you are good now again we have another zip line here which we can climb up but initially you won't have this so you need to come in here jump go up this way simple as that make your way around again story difficulty make things easier because we're going to be slaying things here guys we're going to be slaying a ton of enemies which will earn you a nice chunk of xp so up here let's take these out take all of these out now nah, mate what a double shot what's that a triple a triple okay take all these out there's gonna be a few like i said there's a few ads here take them all down take them all down earn yourself that beautiful xp beautiful xp is what we like so when you took these two out guys come around this corner you're gonna see a robot sitting up the wall take him out too take him out too okay he's down okay so jump up here jump up here and take these guys out also there's also this robot seating up this thing take him out too there should normally be one left he's going to take himself out okay so forget it so there's your xp then guys you jump down here activate this machine use the zip line drop down rest at the meditation point rinse and repeat <laughs> simple as oh shit wrong one rinse and repeat simple as that and you'll see guys of that they're all back they're all back so you can just do that for as long as you like okay so the third and final one is the reason we need six skill points which you'll get quite easy by doing this come to your skills this is what you must spend it on to take advantage of this next and final xp farm you won't need another one after this you want to unlock this unrelenting pool hold out e uh, to affect the largest and most force resistant enemies this costs three skill points that costs two and that costs one so you need six in total to unlock the third and final one here an absolute must an absolute must people so from here we're gonna go to fast travel to the other uh, farm so we're gonna come down guys and you want to look for for Carlin this meditation point I'll show you on the map where it is because you probably haven't got this unlocked which actually guys to be honest um, like I said once you do that forest mission and you get back and Z becomes a vendor and um, that mantis ship is fixed then you can just come down here that's what i did this is i've got no mission tied to this point on the map at all there's no mission here tied to this point on the map you can see where i'm at i literally guys did the mantis ship thing got that sorted come down here let's make my way down and unlock there's obviously a few jumps a few puzzles this that and the other but guys this is where you need to get to i shall zoom all the way i can see where i am on the map right there this is where you need to get to initially this is all this area is all dark but don't worry about that uh, but yeah you will have to make your way around once you get here you are absolutely good okay so this is what happens here 
Now, initially, this is what I'd recommend you do. Come this way. I'll actually showcase you what happens. So come this way. Grab hook up here, just like so. Now, firstly, the shop where well, you can go that way, but initially that door will be locked. It opens from the other side. So you have to go around this way, just like so. Go around this way, just like so. And then go around this way. You'll then unlock this from the other side. And from here on end, you can literally, guys, come back through. Simple. And let me just take these guys out because they're going to annoy me. They're annoying me already. <laughs> they're annoying me already. You're going down, boy. You're going down, boy. See you down, bitch. Okay, so. When you first get here, this, as you can see, it's shut. If you stand on this, you'll drop down and there will be a boss fight underneath that. Where they're sitting that grey platform, if you're standing again, there will be a boss fight underneath it. So do not stand on it if you don't want to go down. Let's take this guy out. Okay, so. If you get up here quick enough, you see them two guys up there? They will be on that bridge. You can stand here, guys, and you can pull them off to their death literally pull them off to their death but you have to be fast getting onto this roof going all the way around isn't efficient enough i have a shortcut up onto this roof so literally guys you'll get to this point here and you're at that side of the bridge you can wait for them to get there you pull them off using that force pull and they fall to their death simple as that but what you want to do is and i'll explain when i do it you, you only want to like pull them off the edge if you hold it too far down they won't die on, their, on the fall so yeah but these are the guys, and I'll show you how much XP you get off one. I'll kill him. You can do it this way. You can kill him. Pull it on the story mode. They ain't hard. They don't hit hard. And look at that. He clapped me with that unblockable attack. But he ain't, he ain't too bad. Now I'm just going to slow it down. I'm just going to kick his ass. I'm just going to kick your ass. Because you're pissing me off. You're pissing me off. Well, let me tell you. It's literally... It's a hundred times faster. Just pulling them off. But look at the XP. That's just one. There's two of them. So imagine you get an XP in literally five seconds. Pull one off. Pull the other one off. Get two times the XP in about five seconds. So going back to that meditation point. Just like so. And we want to rest. Now this is the building we're going to climb up. Now it can be a little fiddly. Don't get it twisted. If I fail it, I'm quitting the video and you'll never know. But hey. No one saw that cut, no one saw that fail. So this is the way you want to come. This building here, up on here. You want to jump on this. And you want to double jump up there. Just like so. Then you want to come here, guys. Get past this one little thing by my feet there. You can actually probably stand on that. But hey, double jump that way, just like so. And you'll see, guys, look how far they are. Then you just don't worry about the ads behind that game. Put it on story mode. And just pull them off. One death. Two death. Look at that XP. Simple as that. Then guys, you run back to the point. Rest. Rinse and repeat. It really is that simple. Once you get this down again, it's got to be a skill point a minute. Easy. Come up here. Jump on there. Double jump there. Come across here. Again, watch that thing by your feet there. There you go. Again, come here. See, sometimes they'd spot you, sometimes they don't. One off. Two off. Simple as that. Again, guys, like I said, don't hold it too long. Once you're off the edge, let go of it because otherwise, if you hold on to it, when they're like, even a third of the way down, they won't die, so you have to jump down and fight them. So yeah, can be a bit of a pain. And there we have it, guys. Take advantage of this while you can. Um, I'm not sure EA want this kind of farm in the game. I mean, you get so much XP from this. It's absolutely crazy. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Star Wars, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.